let us have another loop analysis example in this example we have the circuit that is shown here we are asked to solve for VA and VB in this example we have two supply voltages a positive power supply is located at the top of the circuit and a negative power supply is located at the bottom of the circuit and the way we will use the loop equation to state that the voltage at the top will equal to the sum of the voltage drops throughout the loop plus the voltage at the bottom so keep in mind that you're gonna add the voltage at the bottom so let me show you how we will do that so we can state that 10 is equal to the voltage drop across the 2k ohm resistor that is I times 2k plus the voltage drop across the voltage source that is 4 volts plus the voltage drop across the 6k ohm resistor that is I times 6k plus the remaining voltage at the bottom which is negative 10 this is the loop equation for us. so we say the sum on the top will equal to the sum of the voltage drops plus the remaining voltage at the bottom now we can take the plus 4 volts and the negative 10 volts to the other side of the equation and we group the I terms together so we will have 16 equals to 8k times I and now we can solve for I I is basically 2 milliamp now that we know I we can solve for VA using Ohm's law which basically says that VA is equal to the voltage at the top minus the voltage drop across the 2k ohm resistor or we can state that VA will equal to 10 minus I times 2k and if we substitute for I to be 2 milliamps then that will equal to 10 minus 2 milliamps times 2k which is 6 volts next we need to solve for VB one way to solve for VB is to state that it is equal to the voltage at the top that is VA minus the voltage drop that is 4 volts so we can state that VB will equal to VA minus 4 since VA equals 6 volts then VB is equal to 2 volts another way to solve for VB is to use Ohm's law to solve for the voltage across the 6 kilo ohm resistor and uh, at the bottom of the resistor we know that the voltage equals to negative 10 so we can state that the voltage VB which is the voltage at the top of the resistor will equal to the voltage drop across the resistor that is 6 kilo ohm times the current I plus the voltage at the bottom that is negative 10 so we can state that VB equals to I times 6k plus the voltage at the bottom which is negative 10 and since we know I is equal to 2 milliamp then VB equals to 2 volts so solvent for VB can be solved using two approaches one approach to say that VB will equal to the voltage at the top minus the voltage drop another approach is to say that VB will equal to the sum of the voltages below it which is the voltage across the 6 ohms plus the remaining voltages so either way is valid 